At five, Utah's governor says he will sign a major tax cut package passed by the legislature today. Part of that includes removing the state's sales tax on food, but that will not happen until 2025, and only if you, the voter, say yes to changing the state constitution. Our Daniel Wood spoke to the governor one-on-one -on -one this afternoon about these tax cuts and why relief on the food tax is so far away down the road. Daniel? I asked the governor about that, Mark and Heidi, as well as what's being done right now to help people who are struggling with high prices. We feel like this is a great win for Utahns. Governor Spencer Cox is anxious to sign House Bill 54. It would eliminate the state sales tax on food, something the governor has supported, but not until nearly two years from now. Do you support it being, I guess, delayed down the road like that rather than taking effect right away? Yeah, well, I, I do because of the, the need to make that constitutional change. Removing the food tax is contingent on voters amending the state constitution next year, opening up income tax revenue to other needs. If that passes, the state food tax would go away in 2025. We have heard from people who would like it to take effect right away as they're yeah. dealing with food prices right now and wonder why perhaps the state didn't spend some of its extra money to let it take effect now versus down the road. Thoughts on that? Sure. Well, well there's, a, there's a real reason that we can't do that, and that is that um, we have an imbalance in the way that we collect funds in the state of Utah. Hence the need, he says, to make that constitutional change. For people saying, what can help me right now, what would you point to that would help them today dealing with inflation, things yeah. like that? Yeah, so, so, so there are several things that will help today. Um, first of all, uh, a huge income tax cut. Plus, Cox says, Social Security tax cuts for seniors and a bigger credit for children the year they're born. Those are all pieces that are going to help Utahns in, in major ways. So this tax cut bill now passed, going to the governor's desk. The only outstanding part of this plan right now is that constitutional change that would eventually lead to the removal of the food tax. That is just sitting right now in the House of Representatives awaiting a vote. Live at the Capitol, Daniel Woodruff, KUTV 2 News.